Quite a bit is at stake as the U.S. Senate considers the Disrespect for Marriage Act. Alliance Defending Freedom President Michael Ferris told radio talk show host Todd Starnes last week that this bill could lead to polygamy and plural marriages. Listen. The plain truth is this act goes well beyond codifying Obergefell. It allows for any state definition of marriage to be federally enforced. So if a state decides we're going to go polygamy or plural marriages or all kinds of things that are out there in in the left's lexicon these days, that could be a problem. Plus, Ferris said that this disrespect for marriage bill will result in churches and 501c3 groups losing their tax-exempt status with the IRS if they were to oppose the state on faux homosexual marriage. The IRS can be sent against nonprofit organizations denying them their tax-exempt status if they fail to adhere to this definition of marriage. To their credit, Alliance Defending Freedom has sponsored a letter to U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell and the Republicans in the Senate, encouraging a no vote on the bill. Among the 83 signatories are Al Mohler, Franklin Graham, Tony Perkins, Jim Daly, and Kelly Shackelford. If you have not yet taken the time to call your two U.S. Senators, please do so today. Ask them to vote against the so-called Respect for Marriage Act. Call 202-224-3121. That's 202-224-3121. Meanwhile, corporate America has come together to advocate for the bill's passage. Spearheaded by the homosexual group Human Rights Campaign, 173 businesses endorsed the sexually perverted agenda in a July 28th letter to the U.S. Senate. Psalm 2 verse 3 reminds us that these businesses set themselves against the Lord and against His anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder. <laughs>